If you have any interest in Western history, you must have heard about King Alfred the Great of Wessex. He was one of the most prominent figures of the early Middle Ages and the most important one in Anglo-Saxon England. But wait, there were many prominent figures in England around those times. Why was Alfred named the Great? It was because of his vision. Instead of trying to make other kingdoms a part of Wessex, he presented the vision of a unified England where all kingdoms and even Viking invaders could live together. His dream became the Kingdom of England and it was realized by his grandson, Athelstan, the first king of the English. Basically put, Alfred was the original founder of the Kingdom of England and thus they named him the Great. In 871, Alfred the Great became the King of Wessex. There were many battles between England and the Vikings. King Alfred won a lot of battles. In 878, the King of Wessex, Alfred, managed to defeat a large Danish army at the Battle of Eddington, bringing a halt to the relentless Danish invasion. He went on to undertake a program of military reforms in order to defend his kingdom. The most famous of these was the establishment of a small professional force, the Standing Army, to provide a rapid response to any future Viking incursions. As a result of this, a treaty was signed in the year 886, 